down. Oh, he's gonna sit. Okay. Gonna pass out. Oh Ugh. yeah. Did he just actually die? <laughs> or is it just the only way that they could make it so that I could loot him without, like, attracting attention? Oh, there's his tactical shotgun. Oh, uh, the estate key. This key card taken from one of Minister Clark's cards should get you into his estate. It probably won't help you at coat check, though. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, level 20. Why not? Sure. You can keep your shotgun. He'll be fine, he'll be fine. Is this open? Oh, it just goes outside. Oh, and the rings. I forgot about the rings. Citizens, today uh. marks a monumentous occasion in the course of Halcyon history. After a deep and thorough examination of our budgets, revenue streams, and predictive models, we are publishing our yearly success report. Profits are soaring. Promotions abound. Thanks to your continued hard work, Halcyon is healthier and more productive than ever. In the coming months, Byzantium will be sure to see the many rewards reaped from your diligent labor. Once we nail down the details, I can't wait to share what's in store. For now, my friends, keep up the hard work. Before I continue this way, I want to see if there's anything outside that I might have, uh, might have missed. Like, could I go down that way and see more? I'm afraid I can't come down anymore, my good man. I'd have to request a counter waiver, and you know how dreadful the paperwork is. Don't I ever, my dear fellow. Why, I spent three hours filing a discussion authorization just to commence our little tete-a-tete. -tete. How we suffer in the name of commerce. <laughs> tete a tete is not something that I was anticipating hearing, but I mean, it is very in character for them. Oh, come on. The Bureau of Exploration. Ah, sorry. Those wastrels and emerald veil have all abandoned their way. Yeah, yeah. Halcyon Parcel Service. Rizzo's knock you out bar. A CCN Close for R and R. Okay, so this will also go back down that way. So while I'm here, I should investigate these other places. This Bureau of Exploration. Hello. Are you lost? Sorry. There's not a lot I can do for you. <laughs> oh, look at this place. Oh, this is too fancy. Like made out of some lapis or something right here. Is this locked? It is. Alonzo. Well, you're obviously not from around here. I don't believe I've ever seen visitors in the Bureau before, come to think of it. <laughs> I'm just here to take in the sights. Are you serious? You're a sightseer? I didn't know people like you even existed. Oh, this is just too perfect. Alonzo Vallejos. Extraordinarily pleased to make your acquaintance and so on and so forth. I'm currently operating a sightseeing tour of Oh, sorts. how convenient! Think of it as a guided journey across Halcyon. Would you be interested in a trial run? Oh, you know it, Alonso. How does this work? Glad you asked. Our tour guides you across some of the most picturesque and breathtaking sights around Halcyon. We've placed some beacons across a series of locations around Halcyon. All you have to do is follow the beacons to adventure. That slogan's a work in progress. So, what do you think? Are you interested? Oh, you know it. 
Uh, all right, I'll help. Outstanding! Here, you'll need this special triangulating device. Think of it as a wireless compass pointing the way to the next beacon. When you find a beacon, this device records your discovery and directs you to the next stop on your tour. Find every beacon, finish your tour, and come back here to claim your commemorative hat. Oh, commemorative so hat. Oh, you know it. I'm going to do this. I'm starting to regret this. All right, I'm off. Is this open? No. Victor. Sorry, but we don't provide directions. Eh, whatever. I wonder what's, uh... It's in that room there. Also, what does this go to? Yeah. Just an empty office here. What's that? Compass on a chain. Well, it seems like there's nobody around. Oh, office key, but I could pick it. Nice and easy. You got nimble fingers, Captain. <laughs> good, nobody's around. <laughs> that wouldn't be very good. Lockwood's papers. What do I need those for? Taking them anyway. Bureau of Exploration Terminal Access. Messages. Welcome, Rachel Lockwood, to S. Zhao. Sandra. Just got back from Billingsley's. Had not one, not two, but three near maple liqueurs. <laughs> near maple. Almost done with this project I've been working on for the past six months. Decided to celebrate. Hey, don't worry. I'll save some celebrating for the two of us. I'm thinking maybe Celeste's haberdashery? Stop over at Long Love Groves, couple hours at Chanceries, end the night with a bang at Bijou's. What do you think? From Lockwood? Uh, this is from J Lockwood to R Rock Lockwood. So this is, who's J? Because R must be Rachel. Uh, Rachel, I don't like hearing rumors about my daughter having a drink with her own receptionist. Oh. We've talked about this. Victor's family has fallen out of favor. If he was worthy of your attention, he would have made a senior would have made a senior position by now. Don't drag the Lockwood name into this. The receptionist. So it Sandra. I didn't see Sandra downstairs. The reception downstairs was uh, Victor. Billingsley. From Rachel to William Billingsley. Help. William, two of my colleagues went missing last night. No one's heard from them, and I'm afraid I might be next. I need to go away for a little while, a few days, maybe a week, just until everything sorts itself out. I wish I could tell you more, but I can't. I'm sorry. I'm going down into the tunnels. I was wondering if you could send one of your mechanicals with some food or something, please. Maybe some cocktail olives and pea-free nuts. I'll pay you back, Rachel. So who's Rachel, and why did we just break into her office? <laughs> we got these papers that do something. I don't know what they're for, though. And does this have a... doesn't say what it's for. Can we, like... I... Not seeing am I? Nice going. <laughs> oh, it's just a storeroom. Plasma launcher, blah blah blah. Okay. Is this anything? Oh, that's just his room. Okay. I thought maybe uh, there would be something interesting in there, but it's nice to see that I can uh, hide behind a pillar and lockpick. Did 
Today's trends are tomorrow's trash. Customer, 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 customer. Just a bunch of customers. Okay. Hello, sir or madam. I'm afraid I can't help you at the moment. Have a prosperous day. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> I guess I'll have to come back here later. Why does he keep pulling my gun out? <laughs> All right. How does this sound? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to walk into you like that. Oh, my goodness. Ruth Bellamy? I simply adore your work. We've been over this already. You can't rehearse running into Ruth Bellamy. It's not going to work. Fine, fine. What about this? Oh, my stars! It's Halcyon Helen? May I have your autograph? Now you just sound like a crazed fan, which I suppose is not far from the truth. Famous actresses, okay. Oh, and here we are at Odeon. For all auditions. Please use the elevator on the left. Is this the place I needed to go for? Yeah. Well, you know what? Why not? We're here. What is this going to be? Is this like a commercial? So My either we pictures. That business makes piracy look civil. I always knew I'd be in pictures one day. Can't go in either of those, so all right. Great, you made it. Listen, I know you're expecting a script, but you're the real deal. Just go in there and do what feels natural. Oh lord. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? No, no, no. Don't question yourself. Just feel the scene and go with it. I got a feeling you'll know what to do. We gave the other actors real weapons to keep things authentic. Oh, and because Josh is paying to see their logo on the big screen. He wants me to kill people. I don't think that's a good idea. Don't think it. Just act. Now go in there, find your mark, and show us what you got. Note from Maverick. You call these crates, we need at least twice as many and grungier. As grungy as you can get. This is supposed to be an authentic space adventure, and real space adventures have crates. The next time I see the set, there better be loads and loads of fucking crates or you are fucking fired, Maverick Johnson. Oh nice, I can take that stuff. <laughs> Just all these bits from the set. Uh, is there anything else that I might be able to do before I get into this? Oop. Okay. Just in case, I'm gonna see about changing to... God, which weapon was which? It's been so... It's been so long since I've really considered what I've got. Um, I've got... Light pistol... Uh, Got the assault rifle. I'll just stick with this. Okay. Well, well. Here to stop us at last, Captain Steel? You're too late. All of this settlement CNP hungry time food pills, same nutritional value, but now with added filler, <laughs> are ours. With their patented stomach stuffing effects and baseline vitamin content, we will be nigh unstoppable. Jokes on you, idiot. Those crates are just decoys. You foul pirate. I won't let you get away with this. Whatever, as long as you stop monologuing. I'm gonna lie. Those crates are just decoys. They, they are. What an unexpected twist. You may have fooled me for now, but not for long. Can I shoot someone? Wait, are we the good guys or the bad guys? <laughs> Doesn't matter. I want to shoot someone. Do you remember the last time we faced each other? The Battle of Axajax, staring one another down across the void of space 
while flaming debris fell like rain around us. <laughs> the things you just described are scientifically impossible. Hey, I didn't write this. Just go with it. <laughs> I had you surrounded and outgunned, but you overcame my superior numbers with tactical thinking and a Hammersmith limited edition grenade launcher. Wow, you got a real limited edition? With 10% more ammo for 12% more carnage? Quit upstaging me! <laughs> I've been waiting for five years now, and at last my day for vengeance has come! Uh, you ran like a coward then? You'll run now if you know what's good for you. Uh, that's what you think. Exude wordless fury. Is this where we're dumping backstory? Because that should have come up earlier. Intimidate. You'll run now if you know what's good for you. I... oh... I just got chills. But still, you'll not stop me now. I have this whole port wired with sub micro energon transistors. Once we're away, I'll activate the gamma particulate field, and the quantiponic chain reaction will turn this whole place into vaporized plasma. So, er, not if I have nothing to say about it. Say nothing, make your eye twitch a little. Most of those words are made up, and the ones that are real don't work like that. And I spent three hours learning how to pronounce them. <laughs> I hope you've paid your burial fees and signed your personal death and dismemberment waivers, because this is the end for you. <laughs> Let's see you try. I... Line... Never mind, I think that's seen. To the break room, everyone. I need my Moab fizzy tea. Cut, cut. That was fantastic. With actors like you, who needs writers? Let's take five. I like that one of the options would be to just kill him. What'd you say, Ellie? I missed that. There's my star. Walk and talk with me. I'm just gonna steal a few things while I'm here. All right, let's go. Let's get at it. Oh wait, not yet. Thank you. That was brilliant stuff. Do you write your own material? It's just off the cuff. <laughs> just tell me what's next. You bet. Do wrapped it on shit acid. <laughs> Amazing. Just firm up that jawline, and you'll be a triple threat. What? I'm gonna have to fire the writing staff. What do those anemic fuckwits know about dialogue, anyway? I'm thinking a whole new script. More pirates, bigger explosions, you flicking a stogie slim into a barrel of gasoline. Marketing says that kind of action sells tickets. Here, this is for your work today. I'll be in touch once we get that script. I really wonder what would happen if you had just like straight up murdered all the actors. Like, would he like that? <laughs> I assume that just goes back down there. That's nothing. That would theoretically go back out to that hallway I came in. What do you think of that, Felix? We were in pictures. Ellie? Or just be silent, I guess. That's fine. That is a weird sound. And these weird lights, too. Man. Alright. Well, we're out. Hey, Ellie. When was it that you realized the board was crushing the life out of this colony? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the board? The machine of oppression? Ain't that why you became a pirate? Because you wanted to be free and all? I'm just after a paycheck, kid. <laughs> oh, look, the water is nasty. Of course it is, though. Out with it, you wretched contraption! Does nothing in this city work anymore? Huh? 
Can I do anything to the vending machine? I wanted to like kick it or something. Get everything out of there. I'm on my legally allotted break. Really, I'm supposed to be here. Oh, um, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Why? Uh, does it does it look like I'm up to something? A little Laws, bit. Yeah. I knew it. Uh, you got me. I'm caught, aren't I? What are you so worried about? Whatever's going on, maybe I can help. Yeah, you're in big trouble. Now, why don't you just tell me what you did? <laughs> I work in the lab at the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. Some of my sprats went missing, but it's not my fault, okay? Maybe I let them out more often than regulations allow, but they need to stretch their little legs. And so what if I occasionally forgot to latch their cage? Everyone gets a little distracted now and then. Man, you sound like you're very bad at your job. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, just tell me what happened. They escaped, and before I could coax them back, they'd made their way to the maintenance tunnels. Even if I did dare go down there, they're among all the common sewer sprats and exterminator mechanicals. I could look for your sprats? Really? In that case, take this collection crate. Six of my little ones are down there, but don't worry, you can easily tell them apart from common sewer sprats. They have intelligent eyes, an agreeable yet reserved demeanor and a fondness for hiding. Also, they're white rather than green. That would Please, be the most helpful. Do part. take care and do mind the exterminator mechanicals. If the worst should happen to my little darlings, well, I still want their bodies. For science, of course. What are the maintenance tunnels beneath Byzantium for? Well, to maintain things, of course. Like big humming machine things with gears. <laughs> and pipes. Water pipes, air pipes, all sorts of pipes. That's why they connect the city from the Acropolis district to here. So why won't you go into the tunnels yourselves? Everyone knows sewer sprats carry diseases, and the exterminator mechanicals have been known to fire on larger targets. Of course they have. Why they do that when they're only supposed to attack sprats, I've no idea. But there are rumors. What kind of rumors? Some people say there are strange things in those tunnels. Assassins. A room full of murderous automechanicals. Monsters hungry for human flesh. A hidden bureaucratic purgatory where things and people are lost forever. <laughs> Not that I place any stock in silly rumors, of course. Oh, of course. Why are there exterminator mechanicals? I guess that's just for the sprats, the big sprats. To deal with the sewer sprats, of course. They're quite the nuisance. Um, why are you so attached to these sprats? They're for my, um, research. Oh no. Out with it already. Oh, very well. It's true. I do run studies on them at the lab, but I also have a special connection with them. See, I'm an enormous fan of all my colonists. <laughs> the early seasons, before the plot lines got tacky. You must have seen the classic episodes. Uh, sure, yeah, uh-huh. Um, just tell me what this has to do with your sprats. Yeah, great stuff. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, just tell me. Well, I name all my sprats after my favorite characters. That way, their stories can live on in rodent form. So you see, it's imperative that I get them all back. Just because they're named after your favorite... <laughs> Alright, so, your sprats, what are their names? Not just names. They all have backstories, too. Oh, no. There's Lord Reginald Kim III, Lady Philippa Farnsworth, Vonda Von Vermington, Haroon Greenlee, Iskander Emmanuel Sanchez, and Evelyn Ensley Okoye. I hope that whenever I find them, they all have... It doesn't just say Sprat, whatever I hover over them, but it'll actually have their names. Okay, who are Lord Reginald and Lady Philippa? Ah, she's the chief executive of Farnsworth Incorporated and a fearless captain of industry. He's a mercurial shareholder. <laughs> They're in a rather tumultuous marriage contract. Oh, I see. What about Vonda? She's an ambitious shareholder in Farnsworth Incorporated who wants more than stock. Or does she? Dun, dun, dun. It's difficult to tell what exactly she's after, but she is trying to seduce both Lord Reginald and Lady Philippa. Oh, scandal. How about 
Harun Greenlee and Iskander Emmanuel Sanchez. So is everyone. Harun is a mysterious young man with amnesia. His backstory's still a work in progress. Oh. Iskander is Lady Philippa's trusty assistant. He's trying to seduce Vonda. <laughs> Good way to hide that you haven't written it yet by just saying he has amnesia. So he'll remember it later when I've written it. Okay, how about Evelyn? She's a member of Farnsworth Incorporated's regulatory board. A wise woman with a sharp tongue and a heart of gold. Okay, I don't need to hear about this. Something else? You seem surprised I'd help you. I still am. After all, I'm a person of very little influence and only middling prospects. No one does favors for free. But I must say, I'm far too distressed to think critically about your suspiciously kind offer. Farewell. <laughs> is this stuff free to take, or is this... Oh, good, it is. Okay. Can I unlock this without... Oh, good, he won't get upset. I guess he doesn't own anything down here, after all. I think I've got quite a few mag picks and bypass shunts at this point. Palace, Low Crusade, no. Save the Sprats, Cupid of the Laboratory. Okay, so it is down that way. Well, uh, what's that, to call it? Yeah, all right. I'm gonna save right here, cause it's nearly 90 degrees and I need to turn on the AC and just cool off. <laughs> but doing that while I'm already recording, it's gonna make some noise. So I'm just gonna save and render this. So I'll see you next time. Bye.